Okay, the Victron charging panel is finished. This panel will drop into one of the storage bins in the Kavango and it will allow the management of the various charging circuits that are being installed. There's three components from Victron installed on this panel. There's a DC to DC converter to charge your battery when you are traveling and you're towing your caravan. There's an AC charger to charge a battery when you are at a campsite with power. And then there's an MPPT solar charger that will be connected to your panels for charging when you have the panels out. Each of these circuits has their own isolator. Uh, there's the 12 volt panel, which has its own separate power distribution running through to the uh, 12 volt panel. That's the, the panel here behind, uh, which will be obviously usable, accessible uh, at the front of the storage bin. And then there's a 230 volt section as well. This is the other Victron component. That's the battery monitor. And that connects via uh, the shunt to give you your status information of current utilization and voltage and a whole lot of other data points. Uh, there's a cable which I had to, to make up because Victron are very generous in their 10 meter cable, but I didn't need such a long cable. So I saw some little RJ12s and made up a new cable. And then there's also a little data, uh, sorry, a little power cable that's next to the data cable running back to the battery monitor. The last of the Victron products that was a bit large to mount in the panel is this inverter. So 500 VA pure sine wave. Uh, this will mount on the bulkhead between the two storage bins and it has its own inputs which will come from its own circuit on the, on the board and there's also a remote uh, on-off switch will run back to the 12 volt panel and then the outputs will come back to the 12 volt panel. There's a inverter section on the on the left. So overall the the panel is, is ready to install. I thought I'd just give you a rundown of what it all does before I install it. It'll be easier than, than once it's installed. Just on the back if you look at the cabling. So these are the switches, they're 50 amps, so plenty strong for this application, feeding up to the fuses, running down into this aperture onto the positive bus bar and then returning uh, through the, the black negative cabling to the components. And these will connect in onto the, the bracket that I've made and mounting via these panel mounted uh, rivet nuts, which are really nice for mounting. And this is that shorter cable that I made up for the data onto the battery monitor. So all in all, it's come together quite nicely. The next step will be to install this in the Kavango, and I'll show that process over the next few days.